I filed for a divorce after 15 years of marriage. Uh, we had been together since I was 16 years old. So it was the only relationship that I had ever known. Um, and the whole relationship overall was about 19 years. And together we have two beautiful girls, an eight year old and a four year old. And I filed for divorce because I needed to protect myself and I needed to protect my children. The man that I married was no longer the man that I knew. Uh, he had treated us in ways that I never thought possible, but also I never thought it could happen to me. Uh, I'm a counselor and so, you know, I thought I knew everything and I just didn't know what was going on until I was out of it. And when I was out of the relationship, I really just got to see how devastating he could be in the relationship. Um, destructive, not devastating, destructive. It was destructive behavior, um, vicious behavior out of his own hurts, things that he had never dealt with before that he didn't even know that he had to deal with. Um, I would tell him um, that the version of him that he had become was not a version that I wanted to know. And I tried to tell him that like he needed to work on his, his own stuff that he hadn't worked on and nope, he didn't have anything to work on. Um, the relationship between him and I really, <sighs> I had lost my partner. I had lost the father to my kids. I had lost our entire relationship, 19 years of my life. And so filing for divorce wasn't easy. Um, and the relationship got worse after I filed. Um, there were days that I just felt like the one person in the world that I thought would love me forever um, knew exactly how to tear me down and make me feel two inches tall. And it was not something I was willing to go back to. Um, there were part, points in our relationship where he would give me the silent treatment. Um, and I think that was the most hurtful um, thing that he could have ever done, you know, because he just was completely disengaged at that point. No helping with anything. You know, and I just kind of figured I have to do it all myself. And then we'd get into this place of being okay. And then he'd come in and things were great. And it was kind of like a love bombing, you know, and things felt really good. And so my hope came back. I remember going to my own counselor and just, just asking like, how many times do I actually have to do this? How many times do I have to go through this? And something hit me in that moment and said, I don't, I don't have to. Um, and that's when I decided to file. I moved out. We tried to share houses and it just didn't work because we were toxic for each other. Um, so I got into an apartment and um, started my life to be on my own. Um, I had known about Jonathan's journey and I would send Brandon um, videos that he had posted uh, when he first, you know, started coming out about his journey and um, things about narcissism. And he just was like, I'm not a narcissist. No one in my life thinks I'm a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist. And um, there was this one day where we went to kickball together and I sat down next to him and uh, I just shared some things with him that I had seen Jonathan post. And um, he decided to call Jonathan that night. Um, and they spent about three hours on the phone. He FaceTimed me the next morning and basically just said, I was wrong. Um, 
I was wrong about everything. And those are words that I don't hear from him. Um, he's not the first to apologize. I, I was always the first to apologize. And even apologize for things I shouldn't have apologized for, but just to keep the peace, to maintain his emotions, to babysit his emotions. And we were walking on eggshells a lot, but hearing those words, I was wrong, were things that I had never heard. Um, I think it was that next day or that day that he had joined the program. And um, I still at this point didn't really have any hope. I had given that up after um, a lot of things were done in between divorce and that time. And he was no longer any person that I wanted to be with, nor did I want him to parent my children, his, our children. And within about five days, I had seen him and he began to apologize. He began to take responsibility for everything and own his side of the relationship issues um, instead of blaming me for everything. And it was interesting. The first point that I knew things really changed was my eight-year-old kicked my four-year-old in the face doing a cartwheel completely on accident. They were trying to put on a show. She started crying. And in the past, he would have ripped on my eight-year-old daughter and made her feel two feet tall for a simple accident. And he didn't. He scooped the four-year-old up, made sure she was okay. And we just went on about our day. Um, that night we talked a little bit more and spent hours and he was sobbing and I was sobbing and just talking about all the things that he had done in the relationship and that he was taking responsibility for. And I knew in that moment that things had changed because I had never seen him cry in the whole 19 years, never. Um, and it was emotion and things that you just can't fake. It was authentic, it was real. And I knew something was different. Um, fast forward to m maybe a month later and I had decided to cancel the divorce. I chose to make an effort again because of all the changes that I had seen. Um, today looks very different. Our relationship is very different. I never felt like I was able to be open and honest about anything because it just wasn't safe. There was no safety, no emotional safety. And I was able to share the really hard truths and he took them and he took responsibility for his part. Um, when in the past he wouldn't, he would put the blame back on me. And we work through issues and conflicts much different than we ever have before. And the program has worked. The TBH has given me my husband back. It's given my kids their father back. And it has restored our relationship. Um, and I just am so thankful to TBH and all that the work, all the work that the program has for men who just need help with their relationships and taking responsibility and learning how to deal with issues. Thank you, TBH.